Good morning, happy November 1st. We're starting off a new vlog. I'm feeling very festive. I lit my little um, fresh balsam candle and I'm gonna try to get us all set up for Hallmark. And I think in a few hours we're going to take down our decorations and let the Christmas festivities begin. The Christmas gay that I am is going to thrive. I am up, my hair's a mess. Um, Tatiana's gonna be here soon. We're gonna make breakfast and then um, probably order something for lunch. And it's gonna be like a whole day thing until like 6 p.m. So we're just gonna crank out all of our content for ourselves. And I still have quite a bit of client work to do. So that comes first. And then I will start doing my own stuff towards like the last half of the day. <laughs> Hello, friends. We're doing a cooking show. Yeah. Okay. Oh, why don't you capture the haul? Oh, you got everything. Okay. Yeah, I got. Oh yeah, give me your haul. Give me I got organic non-crackers and cucumber, sugar snap peas, oh. pears. Oh my word. <gasps> my favorite. Yes. Oh my Some god, salmon. Yes. I've never had this, but I've seen Catherine make it. So I was like, the next oh. best thing, because <laughs> they didn't have the hash capers. Okay. I didn't know if you were vegan, so I'm I not. Thought, okay. Well, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, she likes vegan. <laughs> and then we have Starbucks. We've got. Too. We've literally got the tea here. <laughs> this is a so green the, tea, chai tea, and then there is a latte. Yeah, I said just give me a straight latte. A straight up latte. I like it. I knew I would, but <laughs> mm -hmm. I've never had the combination. It's really good. Look at the one on the right. Oh. It's basically like coated by color. So like whatever your vibe is. Obviously I'm red. Ooh, here's the aesthetic. Hmm. Just look at they have a ton of pillows. That's fine. We can go to Home Goods. Ooh, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty with the gold. Because my yeah. aesthetic is red and gold. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Halloween blankets or pillows and not a lot of Christmas. It's fine. Um, I just want a little like holiday tinsel. You know what I'm saying? If I can like, I just want to swap out, you know, like my uh, holder that has like the fall leaves right now. Yeah, that's really pretty too. Ooh, okay. Let's do at least one of these. Add in a little thing. And then, what if we do like one giant? Ooh, what if it's like this, like the actual like Ooh, classic? Yeah, yeah. You mean like one more like um just greenery one more. type situation? Mm -hmm. Should we do two? 
to really like beef it up in the back. Yeah. Hello friends. We have Christmas fied, Mariah Carey fully defrosted. We just heard all I want for Christmas is you. And everything's not done yet. How's your rating so far? Oh, iconic. So I'm gonna show you kind of what we got going on here. We're about to vacuum, um, but just like a little brief, here's the beautiful couch. I love this pillow. Uh, got my Mariah Carey on here. My uh, winter candles, only a couple of them. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you this when it gets darker. But um, this is what we have done with the windowsill, what Tatiana has done, excuse me. Um, got this beautiful gold centerpiece platter thing. Um, everything is from Joanne and um, Home Goods. So go there. We've got our little simple situation here. Our tree, isn't she so beautiful? She's the same every year. She's a little topsy turvy up here. It's fine. Um, this is a new addition. I'm obsessed. Joanne, Fabric and Crafts. We've finally put all of the batteries into all of our different uh, candles. So it's gonna look beautiful at night. I'm very excited. Um, and then we changed up what was in here. Uh, hi. Uh, this had like fall, like faux plant stuff. So we did like this beautiful poinsettia moment, little like mini acorns. Um, all of this I already had. I think it's all from like home goods. I'm in the wrong way, buddy. Okay, those are our beautiful little stockings. And we're about to hang a piece here because we have nothing here. We really need something. Do charcuterie board, beautiful marble um, that I got. And then this is our beautiful little tree situation. Um, and it lights up. Beautiful. So we're thinking that right over here. Had one Merry Christmas sign left over. So we put it by like my makeup area. Very cute. So this is the final reveal. We got the Hallmark. We've been watching Hallmark all morning. Very cringy as per usual. Very festive. I'm thriving. Also, Peppermint is at Starbucks. So we were feeling very festive, thought we'd stick within the theme, and we enjoyed a little Peppermint. She got a white mocha and I got a latte. Um, but she had to go, sadly, so our day was cut a little short, but had a lot of fun today. Decorated everything. Isn't it incredible too, how a gay pride flag just fits right in with any decor, any color scheme. Just pick a color and it looks fantastic. All right, here's what it looks like at night. It's so cozy and so lovely. Finally put some little um, batteries in these too. So this is what she looks like. I'm obsessed. Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. It is 5.45, still dark out. Um, I passed out at like 9 p.m. So <laughs> we were up very early today um, and I just have been working, got a lot of stuff done. I feel very productive and we were just feeling a little IHOP. We haven't been there in ages. Um, and obviously they have like some cranberry like holiday uh, pancake stacks and stuff so probably get some hot chocolate and just kind of have a low-key morning and then later I'm gonna have to go back out I have like some packages to mail I have to renew my car tabs and I need to go to Trader Joe's <laughs> so we'll probably do another trip later um, I'm also waiting to hear back from Kira with like an address clarifying question so I think we'll just go later get everything done but for now we're just gonna have a cozy breakfast hello friends it is much later now um it is about 2 30 almost it is raining as you can see in here um jared just ran up we almost forgot our ballots um we kind of know who we're voting for i just haven't gotten around to filling out the ballot um and today is election day so um need to figure that out i know who i'm voting for um, breakfast was so lovely. We just hung out. We had a little booth and the old people were out. Um, I felt like just like I was truly thriving in my element. Um, also, by the way, 
I think uh, Lauren and I are gonna bake Christmas cookies when she comes over Friday. So y'all have like just like a really a lot of content, uh, Christmas content coming for you. Okay, it's boating time. Okay, I am back. We ran errands. We dropped off our ballots. Feeling great. Feels so good to come home to a Christmassy place too. Um, so in the Christmas spirit. I picked up this Jolly Joe Cootery board. Um, it shows you like what you need to build the perfect snack board, but then you also get little, like I think it's like chocolates in each day. Obviously it's like an advent calendar, so 24 days of Christmas. Uh, very excited here. Oh, you can do a little note to Santa. Wow, love that. Uh, so we got that, just being a little festive spirit. I thought that would be something cool to do for like Vlogmas or whatever every day along with our beautiful decorative advent calendar. Um, then I just got regular stuff, as you know, veggies. Let's kind of sort these. And then uh, more pasta, more baella, more milk and eggs. Another harvest apple salad kit to go with the pasta. Uh, our tried and true now that we are obsessed with. Both of us loved this. I'm gonna do more like rainy grilled cheese nights. A little bit more veggies. Got a lemon, as per usual. More uh, of the white organic jasmine rice. I only have one packet left. And then I was feeling in the mood for these. I've had them before, um, but I really just felt like I wanted them. Got some bread, some cheese. My first time trying their heirloom tomatoes, so hopefully those will be good. Um, also got a cocoa mix along with some little marshmallows. And then some of my favorite crackers. Grew up having these, my fave. Lots of berries, got blueberries this time. And then I picked up tons of the Go Macro bars. And I wanna make this green bean recipe, I'll show you guys. Uh, this gal that I just started following. Um, Oh God, what's her name? Her name's Erica, but she's like this meal prepper, professional meal prepper. So she gave me a great sauce idea. Um, and then Jared wanted this for lunch, so got that. The things I am the most excited about <laughs> are the cocoa cream and gingerbread liqueurs. Uh, these were at Trader Joe's. So go run before they run out. Um, but this is basically it. Pretty basic. We had some stuff left. Like I have my salmon left um, and most of the stuff. The holiday veggie hash was sold out. What the fuck? It's a hate crime. Um, so we're going to have to wait for that. But at least I've got this. This will hold me over for the week. Uh, and Jared also got some stuff from Hagen, our local grocery store. Uh, he's going to make like some sort of Asian, like Korean dish. And he's going to deep fry. So lots of stuff in there successful grocery run. Bye. This is our friendship that is helping me grow and evolve from this traumatizing experience. <laughs> Truly. Bitch, I feel like this is Vlogmas already. I'm I know. Thriving. <laughs> and I like was thinking about it earlier and I was like, okay, this is a really shitty time in my life. And like, yes, I want to eat this, the life of me every day. But the amount of fun trips I've been able to go on because of this to escape my life, all of our adventures. Oh, you got another one going? Yep, yeah, uh-huh, exactly. We're gonna be fine. That is keeping me moving forward and like skippity doo da in. And I have a reindeer pillow that you get to say hello to. Oh, fuck my drag mama, I'm ready. <laughs> I love it, it's interchangeable. It's good and it's bad. Mama, okay. I feel like fuck my drag is just a great phrase for a whole array of situations yeah 100 percent. and so i use it in the positive connotation and a negative it's fine that and is ass and not that's, so we were oh. hanging out right They're hanging out and uh we were i'm there in spirit um yep. <laughs> hanging out i can't it literally fucks me up but anyway they're like oh my god she was everything like she's so loving and you know that's her thing like, oh that's everything Okay. Do I put in my appointments and stuff. Okay, wait. Okay. I need to put in our night. Oh, what a night. As we speak. Y'all are not fucking ready for vlogmas. Late December. It's going to be late December. Me when I'm montaging and I'm picking songs.
Hello vlog, it's me, Lauren Trevison, your favorite special guest. I hope you know that Vlogmas will be filled with Lauren and Catherine shenanigans and like an unhealthy amount of them. So do what you will. Yeah, y'all are not ready. It's no, hopefully. Repose. All of my we'll fucking weekends are booked. We have like a whole bunch of shit going on. We'll be working remote, hopefully. We'll be just together all the time, always. Wow. Okay. Let me BRB. Um, this is Harrods. I don't know if you guys have formally met. Say hi. He has been with me since I was a child. Uh, my parents got him in London before I was even a thought. And they said, our first child, getting a spare. We have been through the thick and thin of it. Anyways, so Lauren's going through a lot of life changes. Catherine, you do what you will with this information. Lauren's life is getting uprooted. I'm like a little plant. I was planted somewhere um let's say the soil was a little rocky not the healthiest and so my roots haven't really been able to grow to their full potential and that's sad now Catherine and I have a big map of the calendar map whatever calendar of the month and we're deciding how we want everything to go I'm very excited for next month December 2021 um, it's going to have a lot of entertaining moments for the world to witness. So I hope you guys are ready. Stay tuned. Um, oh, that reminds me, I need to see if we can book a hotel. We've got a lot of like Seattle related endeavors. <gasps> we should go to the ballot or something of the nature. Pretend we're high culture. Be like, oh, we go to the ballet. Oh, um, got some concerts. We really said let's pop off into the drag world. Um, I'm just an ally having a good time. It's gonna be fun. Um, gotta come up with some good outfits for all of these too. I just realized. So I gotta hit up my Amazon sellers. Um, yeah. <laughs> Still going without flaw. I got an advent calendar. <laughs> just letting you know, Vlogmas is gonna be really lit. Please repeat what you just said, like dead ass. The exact <laughs> way you did it just now. This is why we own this. This is literally the reason. Say it again. This they own dead ass. She's like delusional on her phone. And tell me what you just said, word for word. <laughs> so think of this. Um, I was I was working on gift guide and I kind of had a pee, but like. <laughs> My will to move is very small because I'm comfy. I got a blanket on. You ever, so it's just, it's just, you ever just wish you didn't have to get up to pee? And I said, and then I sat and I heard it and I said, oh, we've been here before. And I didn't like how the story ended. <laughs> before you know what, we have three bookings for drag shows. Oh my god. We really are going to three. <laughs> like it was like you rediscovered the same discovery again. Like, like we hadn't already planned buying catheters for this meet and greet. Like, like we hadn't already. I'm so excited. I know. Oh, I'm glad we got the tickets in the end. No, we're gonna live our life. I really hope she sings to her heart's content. And I'm gonna shit my pants the whole time. Hundred <laughs> percent. I kind of wonder if we're gonna use like the soundtrack from the movie, or if this is like completely different. I don't or, know. Like, Play it off the movie. Gotta find something good for dinner too that night. Yeah, I'm thinking like wine and like a fancy. What are you doing? It's eleven eleven. I was making a wish. <laughs> Well, look what you've created, Catherine. Our ticket's ready in 45 days, 20 hours, and 44 minutes. <laughs> Mama, what are we going to wear to the fucking concert? I think we should do full Christmas glam. Hello, friends. I'm all cozy. Um, I'm having a very uh, slow morning. I did have to do a little mini crisis for a client um, when I woke up, but now I'm going to therapy. 
Um, my hair needs to be washed really bad, so I'm gonna do that when I get home. And I'm just gonna work, work, work. I finally busted through some items that I had been like procrastinating on. They just like were not calling to me creatively. And then I just like got a wind, so I'm very happy. Um, that I was able to do that. I also onboarded a new client, which was very exciting. Um, I just have like some projects like stacking up. So I had to like complete others before I could start new things. And then I have a web design to do this weekend. And um, I still have my own content to do. So we're hoping we can do a lot today. It's Mel's internship hours. Um, by the way, Vicky and Mel are both ending very soon um which i'm sad about but um vicky has a lot going on with school and life and um i'm gonna have a lot going on with vlogmas we're needing to have a little fresh start for the new year um as much as i love my friends as my interns um and interns in general i don't think i want to have interns at least for the next year um it is a lot of work um and i'm not used to having like such a rigid schedule um i like when i can just like be bop around and that's like the point of why i have my own business um and i think for me having interns is about giving back it's not about like how much free work i can get um and if i was expecting them to do work i would pay them so um if it's like a free i mean all my internships were unpaid but um and i was greatly teaching the people how to do social media but um if it was like a laborious internship i would pay um but it's a lot of like just kind of shadowing what i do um and like me teaching them like what I'm doing so because of that it's very like labor intensive on my end and I just want to give back and like share my wisdom to the next generation of business owners um, and marketers so um, I just don't have that bandwidth right now so we'll revisit I'm in the Starbucks line y'all it's holiday drink time let's go off mama all the holiday drinks on a rainy day in November. I hope that we understand how excitable I am today that the little holiday drinks are back. I thought they were back this weekend. So we'll see if we get a holiday cup, but that makes sense. Like why would they not have holiday cups? Oh my shit. I got a cranberry bliss bar. I just had to vlog on my phone because I'm so overcome with emotion. Um, I got my favorite chestnut pudding latte and I got caramel brulee for Jared I think that's what he likes the Irish cream cold brew is also back oh fuck it up and then cranberry bliss bar because obviously uh therapy was great we talked a lot about the holidays um and how I clearly use it to mask um from the chaos in my life so it's great we're living laughing loving and looting as we say Hello friends, I'm back at home. I have my pimple patch on. You can't really see it, God bless. Ooh, it is bumpy. Um, just took a little shower, washed my hair. Uh, it is such a stormy day, it was crazy driving out there. Um, I got my Starbucks. I'm gonna put some ice, there's just like a little bit left. Um, made my autumn or holiday vegetable hash uh, breakfast. Watched Dragula um, and now I'm settling into work. I'm gonna chat with Mel. It's gonna be a great night. And I think the next clip you're gonna see is Mr. Chef Jared uh, creating his magical deep fried creation. This is the new uh, Martha Stewart enamel cast iron uh, round casserole dish that we got. So he's gonna do like a crazy fun Korean dish. So stay tuned. Let's make Korean fried chicken. And tofu. All right, what you're gonna need is sugar, potato starch, gochujang, uh, ketchup, a white corn syrup, minced garlic, salt, pepper, uh, your knife. We got firm tofu and got chicken breast. And then I just bought the Martha Stewart Dutch oven, which you can fry in. And I got my rice soaking in for about 30 minutes. Let's go.
Jared um, on drugs before his dentist appointment. <laughs> This is my makeshift little workstation here. I'm working on a client's post. I have my anti-MLM content as per usual, CC Suarez. Um, I am just working away, making all these cute little martini bar pictures. I'm gonna go into some Canva graphics and have some fun. But this is my morning. Um, Jared was just taken back and sedated. Uh, I think he has about three hours of dental work to get done. So we're just gonna makeshift a little work from <laughs> work from the car today anyway very cash um i think we're gonna get some starbucks after and then lauren is gonna come over later and we're gonna have a great little festive day um i'm feeling a little under the weather i'm not gonna lie um i'm just like not feeling 100 percent. i think it's the weather and like you know could be fighting something off i'm not sure i don't even know where to look this is jared's phone by the way um i need another camera uh, so anyway, we're gonna have fun. We're just gonna watch probably like some You've Got Mail, some other like holiday classics and just like get in a good mood. It's lunchtime in the car. I went to my favorite food truck, Arepa. It is a Latin street food food truck. And this is the Ropa Vieja bowl. I love it so much. I get it with no brisket, I think, or whatever meat comes with it. And I just do the side salad. This sauce, whatever's in here, I think it's this green spicy sauce with mayo. So effing good. I cannot explain it to you. So I'm going to eat. Maybe we'll do like a mini mukbang. Mm hmm. So good. Fire. I don't know why I didn't bring my vlog camera. I think I just like didn't pick it up off the kitchen counter. Jared's dinner was so fire. It was a little spicy for me, but it was good. I didn't bring the apartment down, so that's good. I'm gonna call me when he's done. It should be within like half an hour. So I'll probably turn this off and turn my brightness down and watch some YouTube videos. <laughs> Sorry, what? Say hello. Hello. How'd it go? Actually, went really well. My, if I, if I do this, I'm fine. But if I do a little bit of this, I think it, it's, <laughs> I, um, I, I bite my tongue a little bit. <laughs> I love you. He's doing well. He's a little loopy. He's still waking up. Um, I, I guess they forever, only did. Well, I'm forever going to be doing. It's it's going to be so much to go to the dentist now for me. Yeah, and he had like a pretty shit dentist before apparently, because um, they weren't shitty. They just didn't offer what this dentist offered. Yeah. They did do an extensive search of like what I need. AKA a normal search. <laughs> this is my dentist yeah. office that he goes to now. And his dentist before I guess just like didn't check. So he has so many like things to do um, because they weren't like extensive. They were kind of like, I don't know, a little like lazy about it in my opinion. So he did one side, his left side today yeah. and he'll have to come back for the right. We'll see what he's up for. He can't uh, chew anything until he gets unnumb. Yeah, it's numb. I can't feel this at all right here. We'll recap with you later. Uh, Lauren and I are letting Jer Bear pick the oh, dinner. I'm... Over, it's a blessed Friday Wednesday. No, it's a Friday. Friday. <laughs> oh my god. I got a facial, you guys. I look a little busted, but it's we're funny. here. I said no makeup for me. My skin feels like the thicky that smells really good because she put all the things. So. So Lauren said, give me your vlogmas calendar. So we have a whole sheet that Catherine took from our friend. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she realized I was actually going to write in it. 
Yeah, we didn't really think any of it through. No. So we're content prepping, strategic buying the Vlogmas. So what we're thinking here, you guys are gonna get a two in one deal, okay? <laughs> Number one, the vlogs. You'll be getting daily stuff from Catherine. And if you want, you can go to my page at Lauren Trivison on Instagram. And I think we're gonna do daily reels of vlogs, of Vlogmas reel. Is it gonna be chaos? 100%. Get a new little perspective. Is yep. it gonna be psycho? 100%. Mm -hmm. Unwell. Um, <laughs> oh my god. We're literally, I'm gonna be popping vitamins every single day. We gotta stay, we gotta pump it up. Caffeine. I will buy a case of Red Bull for us. Yeah. Just... <laughs> yeah. It's fall, y'all. <laughs> we, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I need a burp. Wait. We are in line for Burgerville <laughs> with a French baguette. And goat cheese. Is yours a goat cheese as well? Yep. Yeah. No, yep. I don't have to burp. Okay. Made in Websterville, Vermont. Yes. Where's And mine? it's everything bagel, like goat cheese. Um, we are so hungry we didn't have lunch. Okay. Soft goat cheese, garlic and herb with the little baguettes. Mm. You can eat it anywhere. Safeway, the nicer food stores like the Whole Foods. It doesn't matter. But bread and cheese, I tell ya, this is fire the most too. dynamic duo of all time. It's a huge line yeah. at Burgerville. So. Burgerville is popping. People are leaving the line Friday before night. they get their food. Oh, it is Friday, isn't it? Yeah, um, so everyone's here. We have a line around the building. Yep. Um, so now we are the next stop. Thank God. I am a garlic. I always stand at this place. I'm a Chipotle mayo stand, mm -hmm. we know. Oh, and we may have come to the conclusion why Catherine feels under the weather. Oh, yeah. You want to tell them? Um, I'm pumping carcinogens into the air with my Bath & Body Works candles. So um, that would explain why I feel fine other than a little hint of a tickle in my throat and some phlegm. So mm -hmm. we looked it up. And it did be saying we could become infertile, so I said, ooh, maybe I not. Mean... <laughs> oh my god. That's gonna be a memory like one thousand percent. I miss having events, but uh, they keep cutting people out of my life, so the friend circles get smaller. <gasps> We're moving. Okay, here okay. we go. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's the wrong door. That's not the door. Hello! Could we do... It might be 2723 at the second window. Please. Wonderful, thank you so much. My pleasure. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was traumatizing. <laughs> I Sorry. felt that in my nuggets. <laughs> I almost said that to trick-or-treaters the other day. <laughs> I wanted to end it all in that moment. It was too much, too much. We quote ourselves now. Kind oh of like my god! We do table reads. <laughs> the one with the fill in the blank trauma. Catch you her up on Dragula. We're not pleased with the elimination. But it's to be expected. I really expect a lot. Trixie and Orville are on this episode though. Our country. Oh! Has. Is Orville still in a mask? Yeah, I was actually really ho hoping that he wouldn't. But that's it's like Boulé, like they're not gonna know, fucking reveal still. their shit. But it's a cute mask. The fringe. As is the fall trend that I saw somebody post recently. And I heard it in Katya's voice. Fringe, like when I read it. I was like, oh. I'm Whoops, glad that you did The trauma's not over yet. <laughs> Mama, oh, we got some adventures <laughs> ahead of us, don't we? Y'all, like, 100% though, I watch, like, at least 20 people's vlogmases. Nobody creates this kind of content. Like, no sometimes they have. have, like, you know, they'll go on a little, like, staycation, or, like, they'll go to a show, or, like, one party. But most of it is just, like, day, daily day, day stuff, you know? Yeah. They don't plan, like, activities for every day. Because they're not psycho like we are. Yeah. Because I want, even though this is for us, for the yeah. table reads and the documentarian purposes. I want whoever, because there's people, dead ass, who I'm like not the closest with, who are like, I watch it getting ready, I watch it when I'm like at work, like, and y'all are real MVPs. So like, if you're gonna watch it, I at least want you to be entertained. Even if it's for like my diary purposes, I still yeah. feel like it should be interesting. Uh -huh. Wow. Spiro 
Don't spit on it. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Locking and loading for the first family stone of 2021. We have our new convert here. We just made some cocoa. I fucked up and I didn't use milk. But you know what? It's the holidays. So. Hello, friends. Happy Saturday. I feel so much better today. I slept a full night. Um, I got up and made a big brunch for myself and just relaxed. Um, today I have quite a bit <laughs> on my agenda for like scheduling FFM posts for myself. I still haven't gotten around to that. Um, and I just need to like tidy up, nail up some client work today. So um, I'm gonna do that. When we get home, I'm going to try to write my posts and then do some client stuff. I also have, obviously, tomorrow that I can get more client work done. Would you like to give an update on your dental journey? Good great. Yeah, he's fine. He slept. Like, a pretty good nap. And I brought him Burgerville. Lauren and I went to Burgerville. And then we brought stuff back, as you saw. Um, we decided not to bake cookies. We were going to. We were so pooped by the end of the night. And, like, I was just not feeling it. So um, she might come back over next weekend. And we'll kick off a little cookie baking sesh. Uh, we have two recipes that we're going to bake. Uh, and then, obviously, we'll do, like, the, like, the cutout sugar cookies and, like, more stuff when it's actually Vlogmas. Um, but we want to like get into the festivities now. I can't believe it's only like two weeks until Thanksgiving. Um, so anyway, we are headed off to um, a little boutique shop that two of my clients just joint open up together. Um, it's the martini bar and the wine bar. They have a little boutique shop like in the middle of them. Um, and they have like a facial and like esthetician spot in the back. One of them does like all of that good stuff. So we're gonna go support them and see their place. Um, so that's our Saturday. It looks like lots of rain clouds are out here. Yeah, dark rain. Yeah, it's very dark. Um, so we're gonna head back after and um, I wanna just have maybe like some soup and grilled cheese for dinner and um, I don't know if it's today or tomorrow but I do want to go through. We've kind of joint decided that we're not gonna spend crazy amounts on Christmas this year. Um, I think like moving in, we didn't have anything that was like great, but now like we really don't need anything. So um, he just bought that Martha Stewart thing to do his fried chicken. And so I had the idea of going through our kitchen and kind of like taking stock of what we have and then any like pots and pans or anything that like we don't have. Um, that's something we could put like on our wish list or like joint buy together, but we don't really have anything like individually that we really need. So, you know, that Martha Stewart thing, you can cook anything. Yeah, so that was like a really good investment. It was like a hundred dollars off, it was only a hundred dollars, and it's usually like 199 So, it was a really great investment. So, we'll kind of see what we have. I might do that today or tomorrow, but it's gonna be a pretty low key weekend. Hello friends, we have returned. We got our little holiday drinks. This is the first time that I've got this cup in the holiday roundup. Pretty one. Got my chestnut praline as usual. Um, I did a little shopping, light shopping. We're trying to keep it minimal this year. Um, but it is my client and friend's shop, so wanted to come out and support. So the first thing I got is this beautiful hat. As you know, I'm growing my hat collection. Um, I just have like really crappy $5 hats from Shein. So I have been looking over and over everywhere at nice boutiques for a, a high quality hat that is not made of wool, um, which is very hard to find. Um, as you know, I went through pretty traumatic pest situation um, with a fabric pest that loves wool and like other animal product fabrics so 
I'm just personally not there yet. <laughs> I bought my first mixed wool coat, um, but that's basically all I'm willing to do, especially because these hats sit up like in my dark closet. So I just want to have <laughs> some non wool hats. So I was able to find a beautiful hat. I actually twin with my friend Lori. Um, and this is so beautiful. It almost looks like a Gigi Pip hat. It's just like so nice, high quality. It's this beautiful forest green. That's like my brand color. And then it has this gorgeous tan belt. And it's polyester and cotton. I know cotton is natural also. Do not come for me. Um, but much better for my <laughs> mind than wool. So I love this so much. I will cherish it forever. And then... Um, I got some items for different people. So if you are Lauren, my dad, skip ahead like 40 seconds in this vlog. So I got this simple salve, it's from Portland Bee Balm for my dad. It's like good for like your skin or hands. It just like hydrates and it's like super soothing. So I thought that'd be a cute like stocking stuffer. Lauren and I are doing like a themed gift this year. So she's doing it for me, I'm doing it for her. We're doing like baskets, like gift baskets of like self care and trip related stuff because we have lots of drag shows we're going to um, and lots of meet and greets to do. So I'm gonna buy her the Alaska vodka. She already knows that's happening. Um, and then I'm also getting her these. These are my favorite, the eye masks um, from To Go Spa. This is the Gold Eyes 24K Under Eye Magic. It's like three eye patches. They're so nice. And this is new. This is from Dirtbag Beauty, which apparently is like a female owned brand. And the lady like left her abusive husband and like took her daughter and like made this brand. So that's why it's called Dirtbag Beauty. Um, this is a mask soak sleep self care rituals kit. Get the Berry Balm Organic Facial Mask, the Cloud9 All Natural Bath Soak, the Steep to Sleep Herbal Tea, the Tea Infuser. It's like a heart shaped, cute, like stainless tea infuser. And then the Natural Amethyst Premium Crystal. Um, Los Angeles brand, super cute. And a portion of all of their proceeds are donated to domestic violence shelters in California. So toxin free, eco friendly, that was really cute. Um, and it's not like a one use thing for like one night. You can like do like just how much they tell you to put in and you get like multiple uses out of it. So thought that was very cute. And then for myself, I picked up a new candle because I think we've discovered that I just can't be team trendy carcinogen candles. Um, so I have been eyeing this brand. Lori has carried it in her shop for a while. Um, it's called Canceled Plans. Um, it is a Seattle based candle company. Um, and it's natural blend coconut and apricot wax and um, it's like natural scents, so I feel like it'll be better. Um, canceled plans, different scents for like each name. So this one is called It's Freezing Outside. And it's a gorgeous like fur scented candle. It comes in this beautiful like trendy little glass. Um, so it is natural blend coconut and apricot wax with notes of fir, camphor, pine, clove, cedar, patchouli, tonka bean, and smoke. Hand poured in the USA, in Seattle, Washington. Um, and yeah, it's just gonna be a lot healthier <laughs> for me, but it's like the exact same scent as like the balsam from Bath & Body Works, so. I'm very excited to try this out for myself. Little treat, these two things for myself. Um, but yeah, I just, got a couple things that will help me start gifting so november 6th the first official christmas gift was purchased um i also got in lauren and i when discussing our theme for our christmas gift to avoid spending too much money on each other um we decided on this theme we went ahead and got matching ropes um, and they are themed satin, beautiful, high quality robes. They're from Etsy. Um, and so you could customize what you wanted on the back. Oh my God, that's everything. Okay, I can't tell you what's on the back, but 
it's gonna be fucking iconic. It may have something to do with the most epic um, drag relationship romance known to man, and um, it's very cute, and it's very us. So this is Lauren's, so she's gonna take mine, I'm gonna take hers, and then um, we'll just put it in our basket, and then the baskets are meant to like last us with stuff um, for our huge drag queen tour season that we're going on. So I thought that was a cute idea. Um, and that's about it. I think we'll probably do this bad boy for dinner, and yeah. That's about it, successful shopping trip. All right, friends, we are going to organize the kitchen. I'm actually gonna do the whole kitchen today. Um, I just wanna go through our food. I think the last time I did that was around this time last year. I did like one of my Vlogmas days as like a kitchen deep clean. So um, I'm gonna go through that. I have my Christmas music on. Um, and I'm gonna go through basically everything. See what we have, um, take inventory of the different like pots and pans we have for cooking. Um, I'll probably put them in my fancy, fancy um, organizer, online organizer thing. Yeah, I'm just going through the food. So we're just trying to figure it out. Um, I'll probably try to give away some mugs. As you know, I'm just like ever the basic bitch. I collect a lot of mugs. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Sunday morning y'all starting off with my favorite breakfast this is from a local place called the new moon cafe or the new moon cooperative it is so delish it's downtown and this is their veggie scramble um, I just get it with some sourdough it has their um, like rosemary home fries and tons of veggies spinach broccoli pepper um, so much good stuff tons of garlic delish um, so yeah, I'm starting off today. I'm watching some vlogs. I'm gonna dig into work soon um, and I'll show you how I kind of am organizing stuff for potential like Black Friday sale type things and kind of what I'm gonna look for for the kitchen since I've done the organizing now. I am bundled up in my little Snoopy. Uh, it's my favorite Christmas blanket. Um, cracked this one out. So I wanted to show you kind of what I've come up with for um, like our kitchen stuff and um, I also started doing my Christmas wish list. <laughs> show you kind of the two different things that I am using for this um, so you can get kind of a feel for it. So this is what I did for, um, I'm under my food and meal planning 
tab here on my ClickUp account. Um, as you know, if you watched a couple of vlogs back, I switched from Trello to click up. I just prefer it, honestly. Um, so I organized all of our cookware here. So I kind of have an idea of what we have so that I know like what we need to replace. So like our baking sheets are getting really tarnished. So is our like three uh, set pan situation that we use all the time. So I kind of want to get those on like Black Friday deals. Um, I also need more socks for myself. Um, you know, adulting, guys. This is like the riveting content you came for. Um, so I went through and just kind of took stock of everything we had. Um, this is our new beautiful Martha Stewart uh, Dutch oven. So gorge. Um, so I put this in here so I always will know because a lot of these things are hidden away. Um, and like in the back of like underneath things, you know, whatever. So I did this, and then for, as far as my Christmas wish list goes, this is what I'm using. It's called Giftful. It's like my fave little app for this kind of thing. I use the desktop version, and then you can add like little stars to show like what you most want. Um, I also went through and numbered them. Um, I just sent this to my parents personally, but um, you can make lists for anything. Um, I have very limited items right now, so I'm going to try to bulk this up, but, you know, as an adult now, there's not very many things that I need, um, so I'm just kind of thinking of, like, fun things that might work, but, um, yeah, I'm just cozy, I'm having a nice little relaxing night, um, I'm getting some client work done so I can feel prepared going into the new week. This last week was so fun in the vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. I love getting in the holiday spirit early and just really soaking up as much as I can. So I hope this is very interesting for you guys. Um, and I'm going to close off this vlog here. It's Sunday night. It's getting a little long. Um, but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next week with a new one. Bye.